Hello, everyone. This is Cheyenne Marling with BC Management, and I am thrilled that we have published our 20th edition 2022 Global Business Continuity Management Compensation Report. Now, I want to put together this informational video to help highlight some just some important facts that will help you utilize this report to its full extent in helping you benchmark your compensation earned potential. It's also important to note that this report is so much more than just compensations. It really does give you a sense of where your marketability stands within the profession as a whole, based on your management skills, your leadership skills, your years of experience. So I think it's really important to note that it's not just the compensations that's highlighted throughout the report, but a sense of understanding how you compare to peers and your, your level of marketability within the profession. Now, this report each year is such an endeavor to put together, and I am thrilled that we had the partnership of Castellan Solutions and the BCI. And I think it's also important to note that this study, this report that you're seeing is complimentary to everyone. It's a complimentary request download, but for those who did participate in the study, they did receive a customized dashboard, which I'm gonna highlight a little bit later in the video. And this report that you see in front of you, the data highlighted was gathered between January 12th through March 6th. And during that time, we received 821 respondents from 39 countries. Now we have kept the study open and the study will remain open through November 30th, 2022. So if you have not participated in the study yet and you wanna get that customized dashboard, it's not too late. You have until the end of November to participate to get your um, complimentary customized dashboard, which is customized by job title or by years of experience. Now, a couple other things to note before I kind of jump in, but it's important to note that this report does highlight both permanently employed and fixed term independent contract consultants. We did have two separate study links for those who are permanently employed, and then a separate study link for those who were independent contract consultants because they did get slightly different question sets. Now, if someone was retired or currently unemployed, they could still participate in the study and still get the complimentary report and a customized dashboard, but their data was not highlighted within this particular report as this one only focuses on permanently employed and independent contractors. It's also important to note that the data that's highlighted throughout the report, all the currencies have been converted to US dollars for, again, that consistency in reporting uh, purposes. And all the data that you see within all the different data graphs uh, is highlighting base compensation. We do have at the very end of the report information on bonus, earning potential, um, benefits, but the, throughout the report, uh, when you look at the data charts, they will be highlighting base compensation and again in US dollars. So as we scroll down, you can see that there is quite a bit of data that's gathered uh, throughout the report, a lot of trends as well. Um, but lo really looking at all the different factors that impact your earning potential. And if you happen to click on a particular uh, little high table, a little pinpoint on the table of contents, it will take you right to that pinpoint within the report. What's interesting to note is um, the average compensation for everyone within, within the profession, 125,925 US dollars, but there was quite a distribution of compensations globally from just about 26,000 to 380,000. And then we have the fixed term independent contract consultants as well. And when we did highlight the contract consultants, we did go by low and high hourly rates as well throughout the report. So again, 39 countries. And as we go through, um, you know, obviously looking at all the different data charts, you'll want to assess where you are within each different data chart, take note of those numbers, and then take an average of all of those numbers. Now, most of the respondents were US-based. So if you did not participate in the study and you did not receive a customized compensation dashboard, then I think it's important to take the data, find out where you fall within each data chart, take an average of all of those compensations from each data chart, um, put in US, it's all in US dollars, but you know, think of it in terms of being US-based, and then do a currency conversion 
uh, to what that would mean within your country. If you're again in the US and let's say for example, you are in Dallas, Texas, look at the cost of living between Dallas, Texas to the earning potential um, on average across all the US. That's really the best technique to go about in, in benchmarking your earning potential and utilizing this full report. And now again, if you did participate in the study, you did receive this compensation dashboard. And I'm just gonna demonstrate this again for an informational video purpose, but here in front of you, you see 2022 business continuity compensation dashboard, full-time permanently employed. And this is for vice president director global, anyone who's, who's global. So again, all the different countries who was a vice president or director, and again, all the currencies were converted to US dollars. Now, if you are US-based, for example, you would get this data point just for US respondents. But if you were, for example, in another country, um, then you would, you would receive this for global within the job title or by years of experience. But what's fantastic about this is you can go through and see the distribution of annual uh, base compensations. Again, everything's in US dollars for consistency reporting purposes. If you were to scroll down, you can see what the earning potential is, again, for all vice presidents, directors by country, um, looking through by the different states. It's important to note, though, that look at the number of individuals who, who responded by each state. So, as you get more granular the data, it's important to take a look at the number of respondents um, when you're looking at those average annual base compensations. And then as you scroll down, you can see obviously the for all those that are directors, uh, vice presidents globally, what their average compensation was, you can see that they're all full-time permanently employed. Um, it does then break down by gender um, throughout the report, ethnicity, total work experience, that's including work experience in and outside of business continuity planning, specific years of experience within business continuity planning. So again, this is really important to look at not just the compensations, but if you were by chance a vice president or director, you can see the number of professionals that have, let's say 11 to 15 years experience in business continuity. And you can see kind of where your marketability is in comparison to your peers. Uh, all of these data charts do mirror each other. So for example, if we were to click on this one for the UK, now since this is specifically a UK dashboard, all of the currencies have been converted to pounds. So this is all within pounds for the UK. We did the same thing for Canada as well. So if you were a respondent from Canada, you would get the da dashboard for Canada. And any country that had more than 50 respondents uh, they did receive a dashboard specifically for their country, and then they receive another dashboard for all respondents by job title or by years of business continuity planning expertise. Uh, I encourage anyone to reach out to me with any questions. It's a lot of data, but again, incredible, incredible data you can, you can tap into. And not only that, knowing that the study is going to be open through the end of the year, through the end of November, you can encourage your friends to participate to, again, they get their own customized dashboard, but it continues to make the dashboards better for everyone. So again, I encourage you, anyone to reach out to me with any questions, just send me an email at info at bcmanagement, management spelled out.com. Again, B, uh, info at bcmanagement.com. And it's our pleasure to, to share this information with you. And I hope you get a, a lot of value out of this report. Thanks so much and make it a great day.